Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about what is data skew, and how it affects performance of Spark jobs, and what are all the ways to detecting and handling data skew in Apache Spark. The data skew is happened by the nature of a data set, for some time. To avoid this data skews, we can use one of the method is called salting technique. It is a generic way of solving the skewed data issue. Now let us see some examples about salting technique here. In this example, we are using 1 million of two data samples. One is skewed and another one is non-skewed on five node cluster and each executor have 2 GB memory to process the operations. Apache Spark has loaded the data into memory in the form of chunks. Each individual chunk of data is called a partition and a given worker can have any number of partitions of any size. Ideally, the data in the partitions should be uniformly distributed. Data skew is when one or some partitions have significantly more data compared to other partitions. Data skew is usually the result of operations that require repartitioning the data, mostly join and group by operations. Here you can see the non-skewed sample data with 1 million records, which is close to uniformly distributed across the 10 partitions. Now, let's go an extremely skewed data set. We will still create a data frame with 1 million rows in Spark. However, instead of having all keys with different values, we will make most of them the same. This ensures that we create a hotkey that becomes problematic, and no matter how many hash functions we try, it guarantees to be in the same partition. In this case, 99.99% of the data is in a single partition. Let's perform a join with R distributed evenly data set to check what the plan looks like before we run the join let's repartition our skew data set into three partitions in a round robin way to simulate how we will read data in actual use cases checking on the spark physical plan we can see how unevenly distributed it is with a large amount of data in one partition with max time and the time to join is exponential after running the job and looking at Spark UI we can see one long running task with a massive shuffle read. After taking a closer look at this long running task, we can see that data node 3 processed almost huge computation time. To avoid this skews, we can use one of the method is called salting technique. It is a generic way of solving the skewed data issues. The idea is to invent a new key, which guarantees an even distribution of data. This example, you can see the possibilities of key salting implementation. Let's see the process of using salting in Spark. In this example, we have added a new column named as salt and populate it with random numbers based on the partition ID. This new salt column combined randomness with the existing value column and created as a composite key to perform any transformations. The newly added key forces Spark to hash the new key to a different hash value, so it shuffles to a different partition. Note we can also be dynamic to get the number of randomness on the salt key by retrieving the Spark configuration value from Spark SQL shuffle partitions now you can see the sample outcome of salt key column. Here we added an array of all the potential salt keys as a new column named as salt array on uniformly balanced data frame. You can choose a data frame with a smaller number of rows. If they are the same, pick a random one. And finally we explode the data frame. This will replicate the existing rows n times, n is equal to number of salt you chose, meaning we create new rows for each, old value key, 
with its partition range. And now we are using a with column transformation to create a new column as salt, which is combined by the actual data value with exploded salt key value. And finally, we join both data frames and see the same result. And now you look out the final stage result. Here all the executor has evenly spread out the partitions and complete the executions on close to same time. And now look at the UI comparison between before salting and after salting method applied. So there is a significant benefit we gain to apply salt method and it is a generic way of solving the skewed data. I hope this was helpful information to solve the skewed data issue. Thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel.